The young man who was shot and killed at a Fresno smoke shop is uh, now identified by police. Police say 26 year old Joseph Riley and his 19 year old brother were shot after going into the smoke shop Wednesday. Riley died from his injuries. His brother was shot in the face but survived. CBS 47's Ben Morris joins us now live from the Fresno Police Department. And Ben, what are police telling you as they search for the person responsible? Police say they've been gathering evidence, they've been talking to witnesses, getting statements, and they've been gathering surveillance video. One woman whose shop is near the scene, so they even took her entire DVR. But all of that work is starting to come to fruition, with officers saying today they believe they will be making arrests here shortly. We have a total of three suspects in this case that were walking on foot. Uh, we believe that they took note of uh, Mr. Riley and his brother who arrived in a vehicle. Lieutenant Cervantes says the three suspects then went inside the store, pulling out guns and waiting for Joseph Riley and his brother to enter. The gunfire started as soon as he walked in. He was shot multiple times in the torso. They immediately exited the location and started to fire at the 19-year-old brother and, and uh, actually struck him in the face. Police say the suspects escaped on foot and that at least two of them fired their weapons. As for a motive, there's not much at this time. They say the brothers were likely not gang affiliated and they're looking into whether or not the suspects are. From what we learned, this smoke shop is a location in which the, uh, the uh, trio of suspects frequented on occasion, as well as the victims. So uh, this is a location where it could have been by happenstance or it could have been a pre-planned event. In any event, the video footage shows that these individuals arrived almost simultaneously as our victims. This is the latest homicide in the city of Fresno in the last couple of weeks where we've seen a string of them. Now police say they're looking to curb the violence as fast as they can, working nonstop, sending proactive officers into the field and looking to make arrests in open cases. Reporting outside the Fresno Police Department, Ben Morris, CBS 47 Eyewitness News.